As I'm sure you're all well aware, your assignments are due very soon. So I thought I'd just put out this quick little video to walk you through some basic gotchas or things to look out for uh, when submitting your assignment that can cost you really easy marks. So I'm just going to quickly talk about uh, the DPI, the dimensions of the document, color, making sure you convert to outlines, that you use the reference document, that you're meeting all the check criteria on the brief, and that you zip your folder for submission. So if you've looked at the brief, you'll see that you have all these infographic specifications. Uh, let's talk about those first. Let's say we've finished our infographic here. So some of the things I need to do is check that the DPI is right and there's two ways to do that. The first is to make sure that your document raster effect settings here is set to 72 ppi and secondly that when you export your PNG for submission I'm going to use artboards export and choose 72 ppi from the resulting window that will ensure that you get your ppi Correct, that's uh, worth a mark there. Or getting it wrong, it will lose you a mark, I should say. Next is the width of the document. You want to make sure that's right. So in your properties panel, uh, with your artboard tool selected, you can check your width right here. You want to make sure you're in pixels. Uh, you can change your unit just by we get out of that artboard mode there if you're not seeing pixels by hitting Control R or Command R, right clicking on your uh, on your rulers here and making sure those are on pixels and that'll change your unit type there to pixels. Coming back to our artboard tool, to set your pixel uh, width there we can just go ahead and enter that under our properties panel. Remember you can use any height you like so whatever you have there is fine as long as it works for your infographic. So that's how we set the width to the brief specifications. The last thing we want to check is that our document color mode is in RGB. We've asked for an RGB document, get that wrong, that's a mark off. Uh, some other things just while we've got Illustrator open, make sure that you've organized your file neatly. You can have other artboards in there, you can have other work in there, you can have bits and pieces floating around, that is fine. Just make sure the document is organized neatly uh, with well-structured and well-named layers so we can figure out what's going on in there. The document also asks that you convert all your text to outlines. To do this, all you need to do is select all the text in your document. The easy way usually to do this is if we just move this down a bit here is just drag select over the whole document, come to type, and come to uh, create outlines. Here's the option here. Just a little gotcha with this as well. Uh, once you convert to outlines, you can't actually edit the text. It becomes shape objects. So a really good practice is when your document is complete, you save it, then you save a copy, uh, And you'd call that copy uh, something like outlines. Okay, and then you'd do uh, your type, create outlines. That way if you've got any typos in there that you spot later and you want to fix it up, you've got another version where you can actually edit the text. So that's the illustrated document. Also make sure you're filling out and submitting this reference list. It's in the folder where the brief is. Also ensure that you've read the brief. In particular, make sure you read these checklists and you've done all the stuff that is asked of you. Also make sure uh, we're using Dropbox now, it looks like I might have the old version of the brief here because it reads Arts, Arts Web, uh, but remember we're submitting to Dropbox uh, just because of this whole remote COVID situation, 
So make sure you've got all these files, none of that changes. Make sure you put them into a folder, name it, and then zip that folder and submit it to Dropbox. Uh, if you don't know how to zip stuff, we've provided instructions on Blackboard. You can just come over to the assessment submission panel here, and there are instructions on how to zip a folder if you need them. Uh, lastly, just, just a couple of other things. Uh, the marking schedule, this is how we're marking you. We've had it up before, we've shown this to you guys before, but make sure that your assignment complies to the marking schedule. We're looking for effective visual communication. We're looking for good technical skill in, in Illustrator. We're looking for nice visualizations. It's your color, your layout, your typography. And we're looking for all those specifications being followed. Failing to meet the online participation, that'll cost you four marks off your assignment. That's all the basics. Good luck with getting your assignments done. Take care.